Hey YouTube, what's up? How's everybody doing today? I hope great. Um, this is a little bit of a different video, like a lot different video than what I normally do. Um, but I just had to like, I just I had some random thoughts about it. Um, kind of want to know y'all's opinion. I was just kind of like, you know, wondering like, is this dude real? Like, this is crazy. To me, it's crazy. Um, but I, like, I've never been married before. Um. I'm definitely not Mary J. Blige and I ain't never had Mary J. Uh, Mary J. Blige's money. Uh, though I do plan on having that type of money one day soon. Uh, but I just kind of want to know your opinion because um, I don't know how many of you guys follow uh, social media uh, or gossip sites and stuff like that. But supposedly Mary J. Blige filed for a divorce supposedly she filed for the divorce so i guess now her soon to be ex-husband is feeling a little salty because this dude supposedly allegedly you know whatever like i'm just going by what i'm reading online he wants about a hundred and thirty thousand yes a hundred and thirty thousand one three zero thousand dollars a month for spousal support like are we serious like i don't even make $130,000 in a year you want $130,000 $130, a month in spousal support and i mean i know they have a certain lifestyle that they get accustomed to but honey you need to get used to that lifestyle you had before you met mary j blige because y'all don't have no kids together like i could kind of maybe see if y'all had some kids together and you were going to be taking care of the kids and you know he was worried about like maybe you know like security and stuff like that because you know once you become like um a you know a person that's in the limelight or whatever you know you're gonna need security and whatnot but this is the breakdown of why he wants one hundred and thirty thousand dollars a month and i guess that's why i was kind of like some of this stuff is like huh mm, please i don't think so so he wants a thousand dollars a month for clothing okay yeah all right whatever but he wants three thousand two hundred dollars a month for a personal trainer uh, you better just hit the 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 the, the, the uh the street walking trail. You better walk back and forth in that big ass house somewhere you might be living in or apartment or something. You better find something else to do. Three thousand two thirty two hundred dollars a month for a personal trainer? No, I ain't feeling that one. Um, five thousand dollars per month for child support. For child support, that's how much he wants, and they don't got no kids together. So this is for the three other kids that he has with a previous relationship and these kids are dang near grown we talking about i think the youngest one it might be 15 or 16 or something like that don't quote me on that but you know they're not they're not babies you know they're not babies at all and then i'm thinking like is this has mary j blige been paying y'all child support all these years y'all been together more than likely yes she has uh, but I don't know for sure because I, I don't live with them. He wants $5,000 per month for his parents. $7,000 a month in rent. $8,000 a month for a private chef. chef, $21,677 for charities. $71,000 for mortgages on several properties. And additional costs for legal fees. So I don't know what do y'all think about that. And according to Essence, um, uh, on Essence, I don't know if y'all read Essence by link. I'll leave the link down below. But according to an article in Essence magazine, it says all of Ken Ken Do's, I think that's how you say his name. Requests are based on the finding that as Mary Mary's former tour tour turned bus manager slash husband he became accustomed to the lifestyle that he and the queen of hip-hop soul experienced during their 13-year marriage after saying i do in a ceremony at their jersey home in 2013 so y'all go ahead and comment below let's get this conversation going y'all let me know no what's your opinion do you think that just because you was married to somebody for 13 years you don't have kids together um that they should get spousal support do you think it's a double standard because uh, oftentimes you know women people be like oh he a man like he don't need spousal support that's kind of how i think a little bit let's keep it real um 
but he's a man he, he need to get up he need he need to be a go-getter whatever he, he don't need spousal support um but then if the shoe was flipped and he was the breadwinner and he was the one making the money and she, he filed for a divorce and she asked for spousal support nine times out of ten most people feel like she's entitled to that um from what i've you know seen you know throughout the years and breakups and stuff like that with people with money so what do you think do you think it's a double standard do you think it's not a double standard do you think he is entitled to some money but maybe not that much or he's entitled to more you know just let me know what your opinion is and let's you know let's conversate about it because you know I, i'm just wondering if you know if anybody else is thinking like i'm thinking and you know maybe there's something that i'm not taking into consideration okay guys but anyways um if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're not already a subscriber be sure to subscribe and comment below also let me know do y'all like videos like this where we just kind of have a conversation amongst ourselves about what's going on um in the world uh you know but you know keeping it light and fluffy and you know not getting too serious because you know i, I don't want to it to become a, a a platform of negativity you know i like to keep things nice and happy you know what i'm saying anyways guys thank you so much for watching and until next time stay you stay beautiful and stay unique bye bye